Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Little video, quick video on some interlocking rings with some shadow effect done by the interactive fill tool. Pretty easy. Uh, we're going to take a lips. We're going to make it 15 inches. We're going to control D and make a duplicate and make the new one 11. Then we're going to take and can, uh, just hit your plus key and your keyboard and just move it over. Now, there's a lot of ways, and we'll actually move this one up, uh, to get this to be interlocking. But when there's only two joints like this, I find it much easier to just use your smart fill. So this one needs to go through. If this one, So this one looks like it's going. So you've got two different pieces. Now, to get this shadow effect, we're going to take a two-point line. And uh, you could actually make it a curved line, but a two-point line will work and doesn't have to be perpendicular. And we're gonna just kind of go like that. Now we're gonna take a smart fill on blue and we're gonna fill that in. We're gonna nudge it over, nudge it over. With this one selected, go into your interactive fill tool and go from the outside inward and then take a, a darker color and put it on the end. Now in this case, you can't use the the attribute eyedropper tool, which would be nice, but it's going to do it just the opposite. So you have to just pick it again, pick the new one, interactive fill tool. This time, go this direction, and then use that black and just bring it in. Now we can nudge both. We can actually get rid of these two lines. We could do it later or now. We know it might not work if we don't have them. Now take the Smart Fill tool on that same blue and fill it in and it works. You can take the lines away previous. So the same thing here, but this time we're going to use a, let's use this dark purple. We're going to fill that in and nudge it over. We're actually going to nudge it over twice. Same thing, just take with whatever one you have selected, take the Interactive Fill tool and go toward the center one get that same darker color, unselect it, take that one with the pick tool, interactive fill tool, and just go the opposite, and then bring in that black. So that's giving us some shadow to make it look like it's going underneath there. Let's get rid of these lines. Now we can nudge both these back over, take the smart fill tool on that same color, and select it all and right click no outline so that red line's gone. Now, in printing, uh, the line shouldn't really show up, um, you know, if you zoom in, but I'm not a printer or I don't really know, uh, you know, as a laser engraver, of course, we wouldn't, you know, be, be use purples, but we would use blacks and, and darker. Uh, grays and dark colors to engrave on. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.